and hello, what's going on guys? Uh, okay, it's been a great week, this is weekly update number two. Uh, what did we do this week? We looked at the combat role, we looked at the arcane mage, and we looked at our moonkin. We did some good stuff with them, we had some adorable dungeons. Uh, didn't have any too much trouble filming, which was absolutely fantastic. Sometimes it can take me up to five hours to get a dungeon out there for you guys, if I get some particularly bad groups. But still, this week was quite good. We also looked at the philosophy of using our DPS cooldowns effectively. And we also did a Q&A for the questions that you guys fire at me all the time. All right, guys? So we're going to follow a similar format next week. What have we got to look forward to? Well, we're going to look at the Blood Death Knight. I've had a lot of requests for the Blood Death Knight. We're also going to look at the Holy Paladin, which is another one I've had a look at. And I think we're going to do the Elemental Shaman or the Shadow Priest this week. Uh, I haven't quite decided which one to do. I know there's been a huge amount of requests for the Enhancement Shaman. The only problem I've done with that, and I have actually got a special guest who's going to come on the Enhancement Shaman one, is that I have no agility gear on my Shaman, so I'm busy farming away to get some, some agility gear in every single slot. Of course, I'm not looking for the best in slot type of gear, I'm just looking to get a few pieces here and there so I can actually play the Enhancement spec for you. So that is where I'm at at the moment, guys. Uh, how to play guy this week is actually going to focus a little bit on tanking to go alongside with the Blood Death Knight. Um, it's important that I think we have a little bit of a talk about the general ideas and feelings that come along with being a tank. doesn't matter what class it is, but being a tank in general. I have a lot of deep thoughts on that, so I'll try to keep that to a minimum. As uh, I've tanked for three or four years in World of Warcraft, uh, I can tend to ramble on quite a bit and preach at you as the name suggests. And we don't want that, do we, guys? We don't want a 40-minute video. So I'm going to just I'm gonna try and keep it short and concise. It might take me a few times to film that, but I'll do my best for you. Uh, we're going to have the Q&A on Thursday. One big announcement is on Friday, I'm going to Orlando, Florida uh, for two weeks. So there is going to be a slight delay in content because I've been trying to get YouTube to allow me to delay video content so I can post a load of stuff and have it sort of update automatically while I'm away. Um, that has not been able to be done yet, which is kind of grim. But there you go, guys. So not, not much I can do about that because it's the early days of the channel. So there is going to be a lull for about two weeks uh, while I'm away in Florida. I'll see what I can do to make sure some content comes out to you, but I'm not promising anything. It's quite awkward for me to do that at the moment given the stasis of the channel. So... Another update is today, today, in approximately from when I'm filming this, in about 11 hours time, it is going to be the big podcast. It's going to be the webcast with me and Ghost. Uh, I've also got somebody else coming in who's great fun. He's going to talk to us as well. It's going to be great, guys. It's 9 p.m. GMT, 10 p.m. CST, and 1 p.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, it's about 7 a.m. for you Aussie guys. Not much I can do about that, unfortunately, given the uh, time zone difference. Not much you can do on that at all, but it will be uploaded to the YouTube channel anyway, so you can have a listen to it afterwards, and hopefully next time. I know it's going to be early for you guys on a Saturday, and nobody wants that, but it's the best I can do for you at the moment, guys, unfortunately, without having to make it too late here to get our, get Ghost, etc. involved. So that is today. Really looking forward to it. We're uh, doing a lot of work beforehand to make sure we've got our stuff prepared for the upcoming stuff that's over the next months as we plan ahead here over at Preach Gaming, so I'm looking forward to that as well. So that's what's coming next week. Uh, overall, the channel is doing fantastic. We've actually grown by over 100 subscribers this week alone, and we have tripled our view account from 1,000 to 3,000 views a day, which is absolutely tremendous, and that is all down to you guys. It really is impressive that we're getting there. We're starting to get on our feet a little bit. You'll notice the background changed. I've had a graphics designer to sort out my background, so we have some nice images for you guys at the back. We've also got another video uh, guide uh, not a video guide, a video uh, designer who's actually doing us a new intro. So look forward to that this week. I think it's going to be fucking excellent. Uh, I've spoke to the guy extensively and he's been a long time friend of mine from Holland. And he's working on that for us so we can have a nice intro to all the videos so it's not jumping straight in. Get a little bit of a display going on for you guys. And I've actually started to get people PM me with the words holler. That is fantastic. I don't know how I can lay claim to a word that's probably about 20 or 30 years old now. But still fantastic. Uh, everything's going well guys, really happy, I hope you guys are happy, we've had some really positive feedback on everything, still getting a lot of PMs, uh, again try and put those questions in the comments, but I've replied to all my PMs as far as I know, uh, if I haven't, feel free to send it me again, so I can catch up with it, I do get a lot of PMs, I get 30 or 40 a day, uh, private messages, I do try and reply to them all, uh, while I've still got time, so if I've missed yours, really sorry, please send it to me again. Uh, some, I've had some fantastic feedback this week, guys, just to give you an idea um, of the kind of things that really, really cheer me up. One of the big things that started to happen, which is exactly what I wanted for the channel, is people are PMing me saying, dude, I watched your channel, i was been playing this class for about six months, so struggling a little bit, I just watched your 20-minute video of how to... Well, 
not only just the glyphs and stuff, which is the basic stuff, but actually what we can do in a dungeon to make it a little bit better. And my plate has gone up tremendously. It's really been a fantastic. That kind of feedback keeps me going, guys. It really does. It makes it all worthwhile. Because remember, Preach Gaming, this YouTube channel doesn't earn any money. I do this completely off the back of my own back. And it's just fantastic to see that and that is what we want. We want people to improve. It creates a better community in WoW. Instead of finding so many people who just haven't got a clue, just by getting this kind of feedback, I'm really, really, really happy. It's really, really good. So I'm just over the moon. Absolutely, tremendously over the moon. It really is good. I'm still getting a lot of add-on questions, guys. If you're watching this video and you're interested in my UI... There is a video on the channel. If you just type user interface into the search, you will find my UI and everything that I do about my UI. So a big shout out to G Bass Jones or G Bass Jones. Really well written PM that he sent me and I helped him out with his Holy Priest and he's actually turned around his play. He was struggling a hell of a lot on his Holy Priest even after watching the video but we did. I did a nice PM to him. He sent me some really well written nice thoughts and together we've managed to sort him out and he's doing really really well now. So big shout out to you G Bass. That was really fantastic to hear that he turned that around. We also had another, another comment from uh, along the Prop Warrior Guide. Uh, where they watched the Prop Warrior Guide and managed to speed up their dungeons tremendously and now flying through dungeons to the point where people are wanting to queue with him again. Exactly as you saw in my video, once you get a, fine, a decent tank, people are more than happy to say, yo, you want to do another dungeon? Because your tanking is fucking awesome. And to see other people are getting exactly the same results just after watching the guide, that is tremendous. That's exactly what you want to be. You want to be known as a good tank. And we'll go into in more depth stuff on that. Uh, that was Mr. One Hater. Uh, Mr. One Hitter. Sorry, Mr. One Hitter, not Hater. Mr. One Hitter got that sort of result from his play. Sent me a nice PM saying, dude, I watched your video and it really helped me improve so quickly. And that's exactly what we're after, guys. It's just improving. So all we can see, I mean, that's two people. But that's now two extra people in your, possibly in your dungeons, in your looking for dungeon, who are now better players via the channel. Okay, and I really push themselves on more confident. I'm pulling off some nice extra little tricks. And you're going to find your dungeons are starting to improve overall. And that's what we're after, guys. We want to get rid of this stigma that the looking for dungeon is hell on earth. Just by following a few little simple steps, a little bit of philosophies of wow. Even if you're a new player, I'll help you skip those steps forward. And we'll get into some good play. All right, guys. So that's the weekly update for this week. Hope to see you tonight on the webcast. If not, feel free to check it out on the YouTube channel afterwards. But I really hope you're there to pose some questions to us and get involved in the atmosphere. It's a great, great little hour or so. Um, I'll see you then. Goodbye.